Steve, MV235 Quasar machine, what are you demonstrating here by having the fourth axis unit or trunnion table and, and the micro lock work holding on this billet? So the 235 is from the 2 Series Quasar machine. So this is the large machine, largest machine in its portfolio. Um, so we've got a 2.2 metre table. And basically what we're demonstrating here is multiple setups. Um, so obviously this is the dem uh, demonstrations that re recently ran at MAC. Um, you can see obviously on the left hand side we've got some aluminium um, work pieces and on the right hand side a, a fourth axis and trunnion. Would, would, would engineers do this? Would they set one job one side of the table and one side of the other? Yeah, definitely. I mean, again, a lot of our customers with a table capacity, um, they've got long running times. Obviously, they can do multiple setups and we can leave them running, running through the night. Big X axis. What about the Y? The Y762 um, with 610 in, in Z. Now, the performance of this machine, I know I've looked at a Quasar machine with you or I think uh, your colleague last year. This has got a Maxia spindle, which is a very high performance spindle isn't it? Tell me a little bit about that and why it is so high performance. Um, so it's not a new spindle, uh, certainly not a new spindle to us, so it's obviously Maxia have been around for over 30 years um, and bas basically that's their, that's, that's the where their technology comes from, they're only spindle manufacturers. Um, so that there is a 50 taper spindle, 15k um, RPM spindle um, with around 450 newton meters. So I'm sensing from this then, what you're telling me is you can get speed and power. Is that right? Yeah, certainly. Na naturally, with, with speed, you need the power, you need the inertia to get, inertia to get the spindle up to speed. Um, so basically what we have um, with this product and pretty much all, with all quasars, you need to uh, um, tailor the machine to suit all markets. So we can't limit ourselves to any one market. So as an example, you could have, like you've got here, uh, a piece of aluminium where you're machining at 15,000 RPM and then on, on the other set of work holding you could be machining a steel or, 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 or something more difficult. Yeah certainly, so obviously with that part there is a long long running lead time on the cycle time on the part um, just as some test beds that we did with a customer because it is a customer's part um, with a 15k spindle with the power that we've got there and um, we reduced circa 20% out of the cycle time. Then we can go to a different end of the spectrum and we can machine something as tough as kryptonite. Really? Okay. <laughs> so, so people look at quite, or they'll look at this machine and they'll think size, capacity, brilliant. But where, if, if they haven't explored the quasar factor, where does, it, where does it sit in amongst its peers with its quality? Well, quasar is renowned. It, 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 its terminology comes from quasar for quality and service. Um, there's a lot of Bridgeport technology that sits beyond the, the, the forefront of the machine. And we've seen increase um, in demand for this product year on year. Hence, um, the portfolio that we have with Quasar and the stock is, is, is second to none. I notice as well, you, you've got a bigger tool changer than I would normally see on a machining centre of this size. Is that expandable as well and what size is it? Um, so on this machine it's 40 tools. There's two options, 30 ATC or 40 ATC. Um, again, we, we, we deal direct into the R&D back at Quasar. Um, so there's, there's, there's always a manipulation that we can make on the machine itself. Now, I would expect with, when, when you talk about quality and service, a machine of this nature to have through spindle coolant, swarf extraction. Is that a fair point? Yeah, um, everything on Quasar as a standard is everything is included. We include the swarf management, 20 bar through spindle coolant. You see on this machine, we've got two augers that takes um, the swarf out the back, complete wash down. When, when we specify the Quasar, there's, no, there's not any other particular spec um, um, options on the machine that you require. Stephen, and if we look behind you here, this is interesting, this control, can you just tell us how, how this moves and what that would offer to a user? Yeah, so basically from a loading point of view, obviously we want the control to, um, to be far as out of the way as, as possible. Um, basically what we can do then when the operator is ready to run, he can obviously grab the, grab the control unit and just pull that in towards him. So whether you're using it to set or whether you're trying to get it out of the way just from a machining or perspective, you can, you can do both. This is a FANUC control. Do you offer it with various options as well? Yeah, there's Harder 9, uh, predominantly 640. Um, so yeah, there's obviously other controls available. Um, and what I would probably finish on um, is the fact that these machines, along with a lot of other Quasar machines, you carry in stock. And that's not, it's unusual to see a machine with over a two metre capacity potentially being held in stock. Would that be a fair comment? Definitely, yeah. We, we, we see a change in the market. Um, so basically, um, with, the, with the smaller one-meter machines, is, is, is a very big turnover of machines for ourselves. 
obviously there is a larger demand for the 1600 and the, the two meter so if we as long as I can justify it to Martin he's more than happy to bring them in. You say there's a larger demand are you finding that actually engineers are looking for the bigger machines? Certainly yeah with, with different setups and multiple setups especially when it comes to the fourth axis and trunnion situation. <laughs>